The next portion of the argument and movement, part one, is the supported elbow. I call it the supported elbow frame. We talked about it briefly, briefly in the video. One of the important aspects of this is that we're tapping into instinct. We're literally going to duck. And this particular, uh, the initial piece of this I'm gonna show you is to teach you how to survive the big punch. Slow motion, Josh, please. Some guy in a street fight, he's just, it's just a big wild haymaker and we're just gonna survive that big punch. Okay, thank you. Now let me show you how we're gonna get there. I wanna, I wanna step forward. Uh, you, you certainly could step back, but like I said, forward's always available to us. So I wanna step forward and I'm really just ducking. I'm getting small. I'm creating a triangle and I'm ducking here. And I'm covering my ear because I've done it before where I didn't and I got my ears uh, spanked real hard, okay? So from here, I'm gonna drive in this position. Note my thumb right in the crease of my arm. Here's my support. This side, I'm gonna go here or here, whatever is comfortable. I prefer out here, it gives you more leverage. The elbow's gonna bend in. This is your strength point, covering your head, okay? So from side to side, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna duck. So heads, you just duck right there. You just duck right into here, all right? This is supporting, the, or excuse me, this is surviving the big bomb. All right, let me give you some demonstrations. Josh, please. So. It's not going to work particularly well if you're this close already and you're boxing. You don't have time to put two hands up. You, you, you could do the one side motion here from boxing, but not here. And then I, I'm open for that uh, from, the, from the weak side. This is when they're a little bit out of kill range, a little out of your fighting range, and it's a big bomb how to survive it. Okay, so go ahead, start slow, and... Right to here, boom, good. Again, go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, boom. So, notice I'm moving in a little bit. As he throws the bomb right there, keep it coming. So, I can stay right here and absorb this strike, and it's fine, because I'm protected, I'm ducking, everything's fine. It's also gonna disrupt my opponent's base, because they're, they're gonna make contact. They do not think it's gonna be this kind of contact. He hit somebody in the head, if you know what I mean. It always feels kind of like a bobblehead. You want to get a good bite on it, and the head doesn't weigh very much, and it moves a lot of the time. And this, they're gonna hit a solid structure, which is us, all right? And so what I'm gonna do, by moving a little bit inside, I've cut down on the radius of the swing of the big punch. And you go, well, in, in a spontaneous moment of survival and, and rage, how are you gonna know where to cut down the radius? Let's just move in. Closer you get, the safer you are, okay? So from here, he goes ahead, he swings, boom, I'm gonna move right into here. Okay, do it again, boom, yep, all right, do it again, pop, right into here. Notice, I can also attack with this. This is an elbow point, right into the nerves here, into the collarbone, or I could be hitting him here. But I'm not really so interested. Uh, it's my, not my priority to, to attack with this. My priority is to survive the big bomb. And if you're a mixed martial artist and they're outside line and they come in and just crash in, that's when this would be very, very effective, not against a boxer at boxing range, okay?